Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks so much for joining us here on KXAN Live. I'm Will Dupree. We wanted to jump on to be able to share some news that you may have heard about this afternoon. Uh, the state of Texas is expanding who is eligible now to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. The Texas Department of State Health Services sharing earlier this afternoon that people who are now 50 and older can get the vaccine. This new eligibility group will start on March 15th though, so still a few days away from that. But what we know is that the um, groups that are eligible to receive the shot uh, to fight against COVID-19 has now expanded in Texas. And I want to bring up really quickly the statement that the Texas Department of State Health, Health Services shared this afternoon about this decision. And it's the text is small, so I'll just point out a few little areas there. But if you take a look right here, uh, this is the statement they sent out. Again, just to highlight, if you're joining us, people 50 and older will become eligible to receive the vaccine beginning on March 15th. And in that first paragraph there, it says that more than 93% of the Texas fatalities directly caused by the coronavirus have been in people 50 and older, with those ages 50 to 64 accounting for 20% of all fatalities. By including this next most vulnerable group, Texas will continue to reduce the number of people who are hospitalized and die from the disease across all races, ethnicities, and occupations. And then they have a quote there from Amelda Garcia, who's an associate commissioner for DSHS. She says, quote, we've seen a remarkable decrease in the number of hospitalizations and deaths since people 65 and older started becoming fully vaccinated in January. That statement goes on to say expanding to ages 50 to 64 will continue the state's priorities of protecting those at the greatest risk of severe outcomes and preserving the state's health care system. So there you go. There are now more groups that are receiving um, eligibility to get that COVID-19 vaccine. And we'll break down just exactly who has been made available to that. If you take a look right here, these are the three categories. So this latest edition means now that those eligible categories have expanded to phase 1A, 1B, and 1C. In that phase 1A group, which became eligible in late December, that includes frontline health care workers and long-term care facility residents, people like those who live in nursing homes. Then phase B came just a short while later. That was people 65 and older, people 16 and older with serious health conditions. And finally, the most recent addition there were education and child care workers. That, that decision being reached just last week. And then finally today, it's been announced that phase 1C, the first group in that category, will be 50 people 50 to 64 years of age. And again, that will not be eligible to them until March 15th. We have to highlight that there. And then this one other statement that the Texas Department of, State of Health and Human Services shared defining who is in phase 1C since we're going to expand to that category. If you take a look in that second paragraph there, it says phase 1C of vaccination will include those 50 and older, an age group for which there is strong and consistent evidence of COVID-19's life-threatening effects. Preventing the disease among people in this age group will dramatically reduce the number of Texans who die from the disease across all races ethnicities and occupations. So for right now, if you're just joining us, the only group in this newly expanded vaccine eligibility category is the people who are 50 to 64 years in age. We'll also point out today that uh, Governor Greg Abbott's order, which lifts the statewide mask mandate and capacity limits for businesses, went into effect today. Uh, a number of businesses, though, have chosen to continue to implement those safety precautions like distancing, like capacity limits, and mask requirements. So please be aware of that because the executive order that the governor signed is allowing for businesses 
to have those rules still in place, even though it is not officially mandated by the state itself. Just something to think about for sure. We have more information about this particular topic over on our website. That's KXAN.com and on the KXAN News app. So please check out the story there about this uh, new group that is eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Again, just to point out, it is people 50 and older, and they will become eligible on March 15th. That's what the Texas Department of State Health Services has just shared this afternoon. We thank you all again for watching our stream. I'm Will Dupree here in the KXA and live studio. Please, everyone, stay safe and healthy out there and take care. We'll see you back here another time.